Hello, I'm Laura Wallop and I wanted to say that I'm very excited to see the police, crime, sentencing and court bill passed. What a dull name though. We might as well have called it, these are not the droids you're looking for. I mean, I support the right to protest, of course. But why can't people protest in a way so that we don't notice they're doing it? Like occasionally voting Lib Dem in a by-election. So I want to run through a few of my constituents' concerns about the bill. Now, um, so uh, firstly, police are now allowed to impose absolutely any conditions that they want on protests, which is great news. Hopefully things like not in Vista, do it in a field in the middle of the night. Also, they could have some fun with it, like medieval dress and no knickers, which is incidentally also the theme for Boris's secret lockdown party. Oh, secondly, sentences of up to 10 years in prison for damaging a statue or monument. And this is a big issue for Bista, especially regarding the portrait of myself erected outside the town hall after a major crowdfunding campaign by local frackers and cluster bomb manufacturers. That picture has had more penises daubed on it than I did when I wanted to be Foreign Secretary. Thirdly, some people are concerned about the provision to make things illegal if they are annoying. But I think that it should be illegal that you can get thrown out of a WhatsApp group just for backing Boris. Or when people pronounce Chinua the wrong way. And if you're not sure that, we, that annoying things should be illegal, let me know and I will forward you Michael Gove's Round Robin Christmas newsletter, Snooze Fest. Fourthly, phones. So the new bill means that phones can be taken from asylum seekers with their consent and the police can then go through all their personal data to try and find evidence of some minor crime that they can then use to try and block their case. And it's genius because newly arrived war escapees on the wrong end of a major power imbalance are hardly going to understand the bit about consent. And without a phone, they can't contact a lawyer to get help with their case. Also, it's encouraging entrepreneurship because gangsters are already warning refugees in Calais about this situation and getting them to hand over their phones, probably containing the only photos they still have of loved ones they've lost or had to leave behind, and then selling those phones on for a tidy profit. That's the spirit. Now, fifthly, Gypsy, Roma and traveller communities are being criminalised by this bill. They can now be arrested, sent to prison and have their vehicles, which of course are also their homes, confiscated for living on any land without direct permission from the owners or occupiers. And of course, there's nowhere near enough actual common land that they can live on. So we've created a sort of musical chairs situation where we can gradually pick people off and lock them up until the entire way of life is gone. And that's great because we can't just let people live simply with their families, less reliant on money, closer to nature, because then they'll all bloody well want to do it. And then who will work in the factories? And the thing is this, holy fuck, this may be the most evil thing this government has ever done, and including forcing through an unwanted hard Brexit, ripping away the support structure of our society with austerity, running the NHS into the ground, allowing thousands to die unnecessarily and alone from COVID and other illnesses while they had a fucking work party. This undermines our freedom just to exist in public places in the UK, our freedom to just exist as human beings on the planet and to express ourselves when we feel something is not okay. Nothing this draconian has been seen in the UK for centuries. And if you're wondering what Boris Johnson finds so funny about all the parties he had in Downing Street while the country was suffering alone and desperate in so many different ways, it's because while the papers talk about that, this bill is sliding unnoticed through the Lords and into the statute books. And if we don't like it pretty soon, we won't even be able to say that in anything louder than a whisper. I'll see you next week.